Well, um, the direction of this new policy framework seems seeks to break the structural conditions that lead to extremist behavior. How will this work to help fight against terrorism? Well, I don't think there's anything about this. I think it has been on ground since uh, 2014. I remember uh, the former NAS Datuki launched a soft approach uh, counterterrorism strategy. So I think this is just a rehearsal of that same uh, policy. There is nothing new about it. Okay, so in other words, you're saying there is nothing, this document, this new document is not different from others before it? I don't think there's anything uh, new in, in there. I think um, um, probably they're just trying to rebrand it, but um, it's been on ground all along. Okay. I well, believe in 2014. Okay, some of the things that, uh, uh, some of the areas of focus include unemployment, poverty, lack of education, corruption, amongst um, other things. How do you think this um, dealing with these fundamental problems will help fight against um, violent extremism in the country? Well, I believe those are some of the root causes of insurgency in the Northeast, like some people are attributed to abject poverty, even though, even though there, are, there is abject poverty in uh, different parts of the country. But some analysts believe that uh, abject poverty, injustice, and all that in the north, you know, contribute to this uh, Boko Haram insurgency. So uh, that is what they call a soft approach, you know, a battle of uh, uh, hearts and minds. That is essentially what it's all about. Okay, there's the Anchors Borrowers Program, which the government has put in place, and um, it's created over 6.3 million jobs for farmers so far through rice farming. Would you say this has this program has been effective? Uh, please, can you, can you say that again, please? Okay, so one of the programs that the federal government has also put in place to um, curb unemployment has been the Anchor Borrowers Program, which has created over 6 million jobs for farmers through rice farming. Would you say this has been effective to curtail the farmers' headsmen crisis and terrorism generally in the country? Well, I can't say how effective it has been, but um, if at all it is in place, I, I want to believe it should be sustainable. It is the sustainability that will make it to work, not just uh, banding figures of how many million jobs have been created. If they can make it more sustainable and improve on it, then there will be some hope. And finally, Mr. Kerike, what more would you suggest government should be doing to curb violent extremism in Nigeria? I think Nigerian government and the security agencies, they have to be more proactive, you know. Um, yes, essentially, you know, gathering intelligence. Intelligence is, is key. Intelligence is very strategic. I mean, we don't want to see situations where, uh, you know, after this incident, then we start hearing they are responding, they are doing this, they are doing that. So let them, be, let them be proactive. Let them gather intelligence. Let them meet this thing in the board. What those attacks before they happen? All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Don Okereke, for joining us on the program.